the teams uh, emerge here at the Godswell Akpabio Stadium in the Uyo. Off we go then. And uh, we'd add Casablanca looking to uh, come away with a positive result from their trip to the Godswell Akpabio International Stadium here in Uyo. The first leg of this African Football League quarter final. losing the ball there and we don't maybe with a chance uh, line up the shot on goal which was an ambitious attempt but it uh, takes a deflection on its way through will be the first corner kick of the game the effort from Busevian Moroccan international swinging ball headed away comes back to Atia Ala all the way towards the back post but the uh, free kick given against uh, Yaya Jabran from there but see because if they concede it's gonna be very very difficult for them yeah, the first goal likely to be absolutely crucial in this game certainly from an Inuba perspective sitting deep in that midfield moving it out to the left hand side here the early ball played forward the goalkeeper choosing to punch it away and this is where the youngster dagger coming under pressure to try and keep possession in there Finish it off is blocked by the defender. Well, that was his player didn't look to square that ball to a teammate. It might still come to something. It's a Tule again. And Yipa might be considered uh, not just the underdogs in this tie, but in the competition in general. As the ball into the box is collected by Leke Ojo, the Yipa captain looks to play it. And uh, his opponent as well. Jamal Harkas, the Widad player, as the free header comes in and very nearly the opening goal for Widad Casablanca. And from that position, with no defender anywhere near him, certainly should have hit the target in that situation. Exactly, he should have hit the target, and uh, I think this is the second chance of him. The free kick is swung in, the goalkeeper was caught underneath that. I think he got the shot from his defender who headed it away to safety. Awazi, teammate in a bit of space here, it's uh, Nachi heading towards the byline looking to hold it up for Imbaoma on the edge of the six yard box, comes back uh, to Awazi again, hunt on by Matia Ala and this is a chance maybe to get in behind from Widad, to Dutch born uh, winger swinging ball which is headed away by Alalibo Somiari in Ex that situation. <laughs> exactly, that's a tactical foul and um, everybody will accept that. Uh, even the coach will accept that. He he tried to cut off the... Jabran just getting his foot on the ball. Maybe the chance to pick out the player in the middle again. This time surely. And the referee feels it was contest for <laughs> Oloran Lekiojo. It's a yellow card for him. Great ball over the top. And the uh, control from Ayub El Amlut who come forward from right back, who was ready to go around the goalkeeper. And, uh, well, the Enyimba captain. Uh, offside or something, but I think it's, it was a good run, so... Uh, well, regular penalty taker for Widad Casablanca. He's taken penalties in big games down the years. And Jabran coolly slots in the spot kick, sending Oler and Lekiojo the wrong way. And we had draw first blood. Yeah, just uh, waiting for the Nyiba goalkeeper to make the move and sending it the other way. Number 25, it's going to be to hit it, smashes it into the wall. Eventually, the free kick given Widad's way. That was very well. Chance maybe for the shot here just fall the effort from range which is curled towards goal and you have the free kick to defend that's yet Allah's ball in which is headed away by Daga guarantee they have that lead into the break might just be one chance though for and just a bit too much on it to fall for Joseph Atule and the referee brings uh, the first half to a close it's been uh, pretty eventful Chances at either end, and then a penalty 
allowing Wida to take the lead six minutes before half time, converted very coolly indeed by their stalwart captain Yaya Jabran after a foul on Ayub El Amlud, who was brought down by the Enyipa goalkeeper Oluru Leke Ojo. We go then, Enyipa getting us underway in the second half, trailing by that uh, goal to nil the Yaya Jabran penalty, having Wida in the lead and Fanini George making a substitution at half-time, perhaps. Uh, it's the ball through, it's touched on. Boma looking to get it into the middle and uh, winning a corner kick, and it's a positive start to the second half for Inyipa. Gabriel Innocent with the free kick driven forward into the penalty box, it comes to Cooper. It's a very ambitious attempt on goal from the substitute, from Okechukwu. Let's see if Widak can punish uh, the Anyimba defender. Hamdou Elouni comes inside. The run made outside him by Atiyat Ala. Free kick looking for Gabriel Innocent. Dealt with by the Widak defence and maybe a chance for them to break here. Here in Uyo, Busefian for Widak. Cross held up, looking for Sherki El Bakri in the middle. Chilekwu's ball in, it's a really dangerous one. Well, they were almost queuing up at the back post, and it was a really important touch from the Widad defender who claims he was. It's just a corner kick that's been given. A long throw from uh, Chilekwu. Helped on. Might just fall for Daga at the back post. There really should have been equaliser there. That one is straight into the arms of the goalkeeper, Enyimba. His loan deal has an option for Widan to make it permanent if all goes well this season. Might just fall for the uh, chance for the shot for. Izuogu has just come on as a substitute. And it will be a pretty intimidating prospect for Enyimba. Ball played across the penalty box. It comes out for the shot at goal from uh, Sofian Arnash, which is off target. And, uh, was latterly playing in Saudi Arabia. Now then, Enyimba with bodies in the penalty box here. It was a disappointing low cross in. And they could be in here, a chance to make it 2 0. Unselfishly squared, the shot is blocked in front of the line. Uh, Sufyan Arnash. Uh, we dad have been uh, such a force in African football in recent seasons. The music of the Enyimba supporters band has not stopped all evening. What had a huge amount to celebrate. In terms of uh, what the team has produced on the field, they've uh, battled hard, but with that defence standing very firm indeed. Such an experienced defence with Moroccan internationals in either full back position, and here they come bursting through. Now, what has the referee decided? For Alalibo Somiari. And then Yimba are going to finish this game with 10 men for the uh, Nigerian team tonight against one of the very finest teams on the continent over the last few years. And Widad Casablanca have edged the victory tonight thanks to that man's penalty late in the first half. Yaya Jabran from the spot.